Okay, guys, I did this on a Sunday morning one time, and it took me one minute on a Sunday morning to get an Amazon.com customer support representative. <laughs> Wish me luck. So the magic number, it was unbelievably easy before. The number is 888-280-480. 4331. All right, let's see how long it takes to get a. Hi, welcome to Amazon customer service. Thank you. I'm here to help you. All right. First, by finding your account, then by asking you a few questions to get the right help. Yes. Just so you know, this call may be recorded to provide you with the best support. All right. Let's verify your account, so I can better help you. We can do that through a text message, and it only takes a second. I've got your phone number pulled up here. Can I send you a text message to verify your account? No. Verifying your account will expedite the time it takes to resolve your concern. Can I quickly send you a text message to verify your account? Yes. Okay. I just sent you the text to verify your account. You should get it within a few seconds. These motherfucking... See, I'm on Skype is why they... Uh, it's not coming through. Okay, so they cannot send a text. I've sent you the text to verify your account. Open the link to continue. If you didn't get it, press pound. Press pound. Now, I'd like to know how I can help you. You can take your time and talk to me, just like you would with a person, and I'll ask questions if I don't get it. So, tell me, why are you calling today? I need to talk to a real person. Sure, to get you to the right agent. Can you please say a few words about what you need help with? A return. Thanks. I'll get someone to help with this. Just a moment. An associate will join you shortly. Okay, so they... <laughs> they sent me a text, which I did not get, but they don't seem to care. Did I just get hung up on or not? I don't know. Okay, we're three minutes into it. Hello, thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. This is Leia. Can I have your name? I don't believe it, Leia. It, it took three minutes and eight seconds to get a live human being on the phone at Amazon.com. I want you to know I am truly impressed by that. So anyway, you are a real human being, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm just making sure I'm not talking to a robot. Okay, here is what is going on, Leia. A few days ago, I went to return a box of screws that I do not need. All right. And the option I chose was the $7.99 option for the UPS guy to pick up the screws at my house. Okay. I have the email from you. Everything was fine. You said he would be here the next day blah 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 to pick up the package i got it all nice and wrapped up i had the email barcodes all the stuff i needed and here we are three days later and this very nice ups guy came by again today and he said he has still never heard anything from uh, from amazon 
uh, about this return and I said dude I, I, here it is in my hand uh, I've got the barcode in my you, you know and, and, and he would not take the package and told me I needed to call you so that was an hour ago but I tell you what I have decided to do instead I am just going to do I'm going to save the eight dollars because now I have another return so now I have two returns at Amazon. So what I want to do is I want to cancel that UPS pickup return and just take it, you know, and just back up and I will just take it to the UPS store. Okay. So I am on your return help page and it says, how can we help with this item? Uh, so do, do I choose, can't do, do I cancel the, see what I'm saying? Do I cancel the return that I'm being charged $7.99 for? Is that the first thing you want me to do is cancel the return and then start over again? Um, yes, please. Okay. Um, I'll just re um, and return on here for you, if you like. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Uh, okay, hold on just a minute. Let me get this all live.